here's what historical figures actually looked like. Have you ever imagined yourself residing in a city under Julius Caesar's rule? What about submitting to King Tut or Cleopatra? So, thanks to contemporary technology and one very talented CGI artist, we can now imagine present-day versions of historical individuals. One artist has labored relentlessly to offer us a glimpse of these historical personalities, trapped by time by the techniques of painting, sculpture, death masks, and other methods, thanks to invention, curiosity, and a ton of Photoshop expertise. To be honest, we're rather pleased by these realistic and up-to-date renderings. Despite the apparent differences in real time periods, we are finally given the chance to witness these historical personalities in an environment with which we can most easily identify – our own. We no longer have to depend on outmoded museum items and movie screen efforts. Who do you most identify with? Who do you think would fit best in our era? Examine it. Zulu Shaka Zulu was one of South Africa's most formidable kings. He was a powerful leader and the illegitimate son of the prior monarch, reigning from 1816 to 1828. He devised a persuasive strategy for expanding his dominion by forming alliances with his neighbors to provide protection when northerners attacked. He preferred diplomacy to fighting and was highly beneficial in terms of social and propagandistic approaches. Agrippina the Younger Julia Agrippina was well known for many things, including being Caligula's vicious sister and ultimately the mother of Nero. She was also recognized as a strong empress and a prominent lady during the Julio-Claudian dynasty. Pocahontas Pocahontas is remembered for her ties to the colonial colony at Jamestown. She was the daughter of Chief Powhatan, the leader of a network of tribes in the Senecomica that surrounded Virginia's Tidewater area. Prince Albert When John Partridge painted Prince Albert in 1840, he was just 21 years old. Albert had nine offspring while serving as Prince Consort to Princess Victoria for 22 years, substantially expanding his bloodline throughout numerous royal houses in Europe. Alexander Hamilton Alexander Hamilton was another founding father of the United States of America. He was a key figure in the formulation of the Constitution and the creator of the modern financial system. Hamilton's life was full of adventure, including battles, duels, statesmanship, sex scandals, and much more. Hatshepsut Hatshepsut was the fifth pharaoh of Egypt's 18th dynasty and the second and longest reigning female pharaoh in history. Due to the long impact of her reign, noted historian James Henry Breasted called Elizabeth the greatest woman in history of whom we're informed. Madame de Pompadour From 1745 to 1751, Madame de Pompadour was King Louis XV's official mistress, or mistress en titre. Despite her unpopularity among certain members of the royal court, she was renowned as a generous patron of the arts and a valued counselor to the monarch. Simone Bolivar Simone Bolivar is a well-known political figure in South America. In the 1800s, he led what are now Venezuela, Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Panama to independence from the Spanish Empire permanently transforming the geopolitical landscape of the American continents. Nzinga In the 1600s, Queen Nzinga of Ndongo and Matamba ruled over the kingdoms of Madongo and Matamba, located in present-day northern Angola. As a monarch, she was noted for her political acumen and very efficient military tactics, earning her the moniker Fighter Queen. Nzinga is still regarded as a historical figure in Angola. Ingrid Bergman Ingrid Bergman, whose 50-year acting career includes three Academy Awards, two Primetime Emmy Awards, a Tony Award, four Golden Globe Awards, and a BAFTA, would still look magnificent today and would most certainly be one of Hollywood's top stars. If only we could track down a modern-day bogey. Aristotle Aristotle is widely regarded as one of the greatest philosophers in human history. He was born in Stagira, Greece in 384 BC and made major contributions to several areas, including logic, 
ethics, biology, physics, and psychology. We don't know what his skin tone or eye color would have been like, but the artist's interpretation is still rather stunning, in our opinion. Ludwig van Beethoven Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Germany, is without a doubt one of the most renowned composers of all time, and his work is still some of the most played classical music in the world today. Throughout his career, his style may be split into three periods, early, middle, and late. His hearing deteriorated toward the end of his life, yet the music he composed during this era is usually regarded as his most inventive. George Washington what sort of list would this be if America's cherished first president wasn't included? George Washington was president of the United States from 1789 until 1797. He was also a Revolutionary War military officer and a founding father. Many consider him to be one of the country's finest leaders. Catherine the Great Catherine the Great, born Sophie Anhalt Zerbst, reigned over all of Russia from 1762 to 1796. She is most remembered for being the nation's longest ruling female and for extending the empire's reach to the point that it was regarded as one of Europe's major powers. Catherine's looks have been described differently by several sources. Some say she had blonde hair, while others say she was a brunette. The artist opted to show her with the latter in this case. Oscar Nilsson Oscar Nilsson, a prominent historical figure, bore the countenance of a distinguished individual whose visage reflected a blend of intellect and resolve. With a strong jawline and deep-set eyes, Nilsson's face conveyed a sense of determination that resonated with the challenges of his era. His slightly furrowed brow hinted at a contemplative nature, suggesting a mind constantly at work. Navigating the complexities of the times in which he lived, his hair, meticulously combed and graying at the temples, spoke of the wisdom acquired through years of experience and leadership. Nilsson's attire, tailored to the fashion of his period, bespoke a man of refined taste and stature. Whether captured in a formal portrait or observed in the midst of action, Oscar Nilsson's physical appearance embodied the essence of a historical figure whose demeanor left an indelible mark on the pages of history.